Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Juliana if you are new here and we are going to play in some makeup today. So today I'm going to do kind of a um, very easy everyday um, look with just one eyeshadow. So this is a little different than what I've done in the past, um, but I really love the way that this came out. So I'm just going to walk you through everything that I did. So first I'm starting by applying foundation primer everywhere on the face except for the eyes and the lips just to prepare the skin for um, the foundation and the products that are going to go on top of it. After that I'm going to apply under eye corrector to some of the dark spots like areas on my face that tend to need a little bit more cover covering so um, just the inner corner of my eye tends to look a little bit darker than the rest of my skin so I'm putting this here just to kind of um, neutralize that area so that any of the products that are going to go on top of it the darkness on my skin will not compete with that. Next, I am going to apply this 3D foundation in the color Bronze 160. Um, and I'm going to apply this all over the perimeter of my face and then blend it out, focusing the product mostly on the um, perimeter of my face and then kind of blending in towards um, the center of my face. And I'm doing that because I'm going to be using concealer and I just want to keep this very light um, every day. And so that way, this helps me to not cake on the makeup in the center of my face. Blend out the foundation. I'm using a blending sponge and what I do is make sure that the blending sponge is damp before trying to use it. So I run it underneath some water and then squeeze out all the access, as much access as I can, and then the blending sponge is ready to use. And I'm gonna be using this for a couple of different products. I'm gonna use it for my foundation, concealer, um, a little bit of powder a little bit later, my highlighter, a lot of that. So I think that this product or this tool I should say goes a long way um, in using it for different um, reasons. So now under my eye I'm just going to conceal with a concealer that matches my skin tone just so that um, it's just kind of daytime friendly. It's not necessarily, I'm not going to do a heavy highlighting or anything like that because um, this is not necessarily for like camera or anything like that. But I am going to put a lighter concealer on the inner corner of my eye and then um, at an angle on the outer corner of my eye just to give my face a little bit of lift but also brightness on the inner corner so I'm letting the concealer also sit for just a little bit just so that it gets a little tacky and that way it's kind of fuller coverage then I'm going to go back in with the blending sponge the pointy part of it and blend it out starting with the darker portion of the concealer and then blending out the lighter portion of the concealer I'm using the pointy part of the blending sponge because it has um, a little point that can help to get into those smaller harder to reach areas and I just blend it out until I can't really see the concealer anymore. So here I'm doing the other side and I'm blending out the darker concealer first because if I try to blend them all together, that darker color is just going to kind of, um, you know, go on top of the lighter color and kind of defeat the purpose of why I put the lighter concealer in that area. So I wanna make sure that the darker concealer, the one that matches my skin tone, is blended out completely before going on to blend out the lighter concealers with the pointy part of that blending sponge. Next, I'm gonna take a big powder brush and apply some translucent powder to it. I'm only applying translucent powder to the area that I applied the concealer and on top of my eye to prepare it for eye products, just to set those um, concealers. Now that my foundation is set and in place, I'm gonna move on to my brows. I'm going to use this lip liner in dark chocolate to apply color to the head of my brow all the way to the middle of my brow. Now I personally chose this color, a lip liner, because it has a very warm undertone. Um, and so I find that this is a lot um, 
softer for my brow color um, in that like other brows, brow colors that are like brown tend to be a little bit cooler. Um, but sometimes I will, you know, recently I have actually switched um, my brow color because I dyed my hair. Um, oddly enough, I dyed my hair jet black. And so I actually tried to use the same exact um, color combination and it looked just kind of like weird. So it's definitely depending on my hair color. And this time, I mean, it looks um, black, but it's kind of like a natural black, but now my hair which you can't see it in this video, um, it's now like jet black, so I had to change the color. But all to say, that's why I used a lip liner in the head of my brow. But now towards the tail of my brush, I switch the product and use a volumizing brow tint um, that is the same exact color as my brow hair. So um, it's a much cooler um, product, and I use that to extend the tails on my brows. And just giving that ombre effect from like a warm to that cool um, brow color just kind of helps um, it look a lot more natural um, but also you can't really det like detect where the um, lip liner ends and the real brow tint begins. I also applied a little bit of um, foundation underneath my brow just to give it a little bit of highlight just a tiny tiny bit um, with a cream color brush. Now I'm gonna take an eye primer and apply this to the center of my eyelid um, because that's where I want the intensity of the eyeshadow to be. So I'm going to only apply this only to the center and not the outer and inner portion of my eyelid. Now with the eyeshadow, Soft Heather eyeshadow, I'm going to use an all over eye color brush and really press this on top of my eyelid, kind of right on top of the iris. Um, because when I open my eyes, that's where you're gonna see kind of the bulk of the color is um, right there on top of my iris. So I'm really focusing the color by pressing the, um, the eyeshadow into that eye primer um, to really make sure that it's very, very intense in that area only. And then I'm going to slowly blend it towards the inner corner of my eye using small little circles. That way it's just kind of, it's just much more softer going into the in, inner corner and the outer corner. So it helps to blend it, but um, also just keep it very, very soft. After that, I took an eyeliner pen and softly with my eyes open, I just dragged it across my top line. Um, very, very small and very, very thin line, making sure not to, you know, um, go up at the outer corner or anything like that. I just want to make sure that I'm making a very thin line initially, and then I can um, create the wing at the end. So while I tried to not go up at the end, I end up doing so anyway. So this is me just kind of filling in that outer corner. Um, and then now I'm going to actually start to create the wing. And I'm going to pull a line, start kind of um, pulling from my bottom eyelid and then wing it up slightly towards my temple and then creating a line that connects to the top line. With the pen, um, laying on its side again and allowing me to like kind of drag it along my um, eye line in small dashes. I'm doing that again just to deepen the color of the eyeliner so it's really, really black. Now here's a trick I'm gonna use for the other side. I'm going to take a little bit of my face powder and apply it at an angle on the outer corner of my eye. This way it just kind of gives me a little bit of a guide to where I want to begin my wing. And then I'm going to trace my um, eye line going along that powder line and then connect it to my top lid. Color that little wing in and then go back and do my eye line. 
Um, so this will this is just an easy way to make a very quick um, kind of clean everyday like winged eyeliner. Also, I want to let you guys know that all of the products that I'm using in today's video are all by Mary Kay Cosmetics. So that's why you don't see um, the brand names on some of the products and the labels that are listed is because they're all from the same exact brand. As you can see, you guys, with my right eye, I am having the hardest time creating a straight line with this eyeliner pen. Um, it's probably not even the product. It's really just the fact that I'm left-handed and this side really gets me, um, especially when I'm trying to draw a thin line and also keep my eye open at the same time. Um, so yeah, that side is probably not you know, my best side, but I tried to get it to match as much as possible. Um, but yeah, drop a heart down below in the comments, you guys, if you guys struggle with one side of your um, eyeliner. Let me know I'm not alone. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna follow it up with Lash Love Mascara, and I'm going to work this at the root of my lash and then pull it out to the tip. There isn't much clumping with this mascara, so I can go back over the um, mascara, like the eye that I did that dried already, and kind of apply more mascara, as well as separate my lashes just for a longer, thicker um, look to, um, to my lashes. So that's what I did on both sides. Now to give my bottom liner just a little bit of definition, I applied some MK Brown mask, I'm sorry, eyeliner <laughs> through my bottom lashes, mostly on the outer, I'd say two thirds of the eye, and then also applied some Lash Love Mascara to the tips of my bottom lashes. Now I'm gonna return back to the face and kind of warm it up with a little bit of bronzer. So I'm not using traditional bronzer, I'm using this golden copper cheek color, which is kind of my, one of my favorite bronzers. And I'm just applying this along my forehead and also um, along my cheeks, kind of at the bottom half of my cheeks, um, just to kind of give a little bit of contour to the face. But it also adds to a little bit of the warmth because my eyes are kind of, the eye color is kind of like a um, very cool, dusty lilac color. I'm gonna just kind of warm up the face to bring everything together. Now here's one of my favorite tricks to apply highlighter. I'm gonna go back to that blending sponge and pick up the highlighter on the tip of the sponge and go ahead and pat it directly to my face. So I'm starting really at the apple of my cheeks and I'm going to apply this kind of above that bronzer and at an angle going up towards um, my face. Then between the highlighter and the bronzer, I'm going to apply a little bit of Wineberry Cheek Color in a little bit of circular motions um, just to blend it out and give that natural blush to the skin. To finish off the look, I'm going to apply Deep Nude Lip Liner all over my natural lip line. And then apply True Dimensions Lipstick in the color First Blush all over that and then kind of press my lips together. 
and I'm applying this color because it's it's a very pretty like mango color but um, it does kind of look like kind of like a really pretty nudish pink as well um, so I can apply this right on top of the lip liner and it will blend seamlessly with um, my skin tone And that's the look you guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.